Welcome to uh, the session in this room two this afternoon. Jerry. Welcome to the uh, afternoon session in this room. We will start with uh, Franklin speaking about uh, customizing Plasma 5 in Ubuntu. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, in this session, oh, yeah. in this session, I will talk about uh, something. Uh, something will be found, and uh, some problems will be found when customizing the sound file. But at first, again, I would like to introduce the background of this. If you Google Doctor Easy Go, you will find the article. I wrote this in 2013. It's a successful story about deploying about 10,000 PCs with Plasma 4 in New Type of City. Now, uh, you, uh, actually, you can Google it and read it again, and then you can see what's easy go. But here, I will still to simply introduce what is easy go. The easy go is, uh, you can say that, a derived distribution customized by before by Ubuntu and then by K Ubuntu. The main purpose of EasyGo is to promote good free software applications to everyone. And then we also form some good tutorial, public domain tutorial. And then we also join an add into EasyGo and just make it uh, Distribution. Is this talk about Ubuntu? Yes. Ubuntu and the present one. Can I ask a personal favor? Favor? No, I don't know. Can you make a call back? Okay. I'll try. Otherwise, it's so loud. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, when we customize the EasyGo, we focus very much on the user experience about what users need. Uh, so the main idea of EasyGo is actually application name. General speaking, it's just like this. Uh, there are many, many different distributions like Major, Ubuntu, Fedoran, what want to say. And uh, anyway, we choose one for them. And the normal distribution we, we, we use, always we use as we don't now, maybe later, later, uh, later years. And then we have different desktop. Right? So we choose one laptop for them, and then we focus on the application. Because to promote this to new users, for new users, diversity is actually a good feature for open source work, but it also confuses the new user very much. So for new users, we just cover the desktop to system to kernel. This part, we don't let them know. Actually, we don't need to explain anything to them. We just let them to experience the free software applications. Okay, that's the main idea of EasyGo. And since application is the main concept, main idea of EasyGo, so before we use Ubuntu and we use GNOME 2. But then Ubuntu changed to Unity. And then from GNOME 2 advanced to GNOME 3, the application name is gone too. Their idea is that uh, for PC and for the pad, touch pad panel, they should use the same interface. So then at that time, we, we know that if we have no application menu, the new user will not accept. Actually, Windows 8 proves my also, right? So Windows 8 comes, they know the application menu is gone, and the, the user is out. Okay, so at that time we decided to change the desktop from GNOME to KC Plasma. The last is Plasma 4. So the of course the main reason is that they have that in Plasma 4 we have a traditional mode with the application menu still there. Okay, so since each goal the version 10 to 11 and 12, they were based on KU one two. 20.4, 13.4, 14.4. Okay. 
This is is for 10. E is for 10. No cross no form. That's all so good. Every word so well. So you can read the article. Okay. Okay. So that's how we tell people. And then that's E of 11. And then that's the what we deploy to the new type C pen solar PCs, this version. Okay, and then this the bridge is the new type C. Okay. That's yeah. Okay, choose one, get one free. That's all slow in the time. Not I want get one free. That's that means you have choice. The the new type C was asked for license fee because they have no choice. They think they have no choice. But then we get them another choice. So that, 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 that version is very important. So, and this is cross. This is so. This is based on K1 to 14.4 and the, the scroll, scroll time flows. Okay. So here, I will start to say the customizing here is not to customize desktop so that I can use it smoothly or, or what I want. The customizing here means we need to make it a system default. So that we, when we create a new user, they will have such environment. So it's not just to make things and into your homepage. No, because the system has no user at that time. It, it may only have live user. And the live user is created during the good, good time. Right? So the customize here is to make this system default, and that's very important. So uh, actually, that's why every time I ask question about the customizing, maybe uh, some developer, they, they don't understand what I mean by customizing. Okay? So before easy go 11, 10 and 11, I, the way I use is I call it dirty hack. I directly change the file content or directly change the image but with the same file name. Okay? That means, okay, it's still reading really the file, but the content is what I want. I, I call it dirty hack. Of course, for, for example, we directly change the content of this file. Press mark, desktop, initial, before layout. That's the default desktop layout. Uh, the default this desktop activity, and with which content, uh, which uh, press voice inside it. Yeah. We directly change the content. It ha of course, it has a main drawback. That is, we cannot update KDE. If we update KDE, the file will be overwrite back to the to the K1 people. So we, we, we need to turn off the the PDA from K1 to so avoid users to upgrade it. Because we are using dirty hack. Okay? But then to the Ezco 12, at that time I was studying the uh, school readings, the known school readings, the non name is Debian Education. That's a branch from Debian. And I was studying how the team made the school readings. And I found that they do it different way. And that's what I want. For example, in the X session, that means when the X window starts, they put some script inside and make an EDRs to what they want and uh, put the menu prefix here. So I just told you that easy code in easy code, the application main is very important because we Categorize and sort them together. I just let uh, show you. Though it's, it's in Chinese, but you can say you can see that's the office suite. XMI, you can see before with XMI secure. And the uh, oh. okay, <laughs> okay. That's the graphic design. You can see scale pin. We categorize them together and that education. Gcompris, remember? Okay, and, and here is that PhD, that's how we found a good public domain material for education. Okay, and because we changed the, the whole main structure, so we followed the SDG menu spec. We followed the SDG menu spec. 
And in the HTML set, you need to define the main prefix. So that they will really drain the main what I want, show the main what I want. So that we can customize automatically. We don't need to change the main every time, main every time. Okay, so I just put these files into the accession.d and then with the booting, the S window would read that before the getting starts. And all the environment, all the very variable will be affected in, during all the KD session. So in Ethical 12, I use this way and I reactive a brand, a pure brand with Debian name, Debian Ethical. My goal is that after installing the native K12 or native Debian, I just need to install another Ethical packages and it will become easy. That's my goal. So, of course, the package needs to follow the Debian's policy. Right? So, in, for example, in KD based on 4, I just, uh, in, in the file, uh, KD4, <laughs> now, now, what do you see is uh, easy go to us. I, uh, I run it in a virtual box. Okay. You see, the zero real default layout is the original file. It's the original file in the K12. And I just need to add this one to override it. It will be executed after the zero. So I don't need to change this file. I just use another file to override it. Yes. And that should be the correct way to customize, right? Okay. So I made some Debian packages for this. So that I just need to put new file in and it will be custom automatically. Okay. So everything is fine. Everything is fine. This is you can see in the application menu I have easy go and also a KD4 application menu, but it will follow my easy go application menu. Right? Again, show you this. This is my menu. Okay, office, graphics, video, network, it's not KD's menu, it's my easy go menu. Okay, so that's my project I told you. I just need to install native distributions, then install easy go packages. Also, it can apply to X Ubuntu or L Ubuntu. Okay, so everything is fine. Everything is fine. Then, until K1 to 16.4 release. When we start to make the ESCO 13, we start to start in 6004 and the iPhone, everything changed. The first thing is that my ESCO menu is not work. Okay. I said how, no matter how I said the exigent menu prefix. For example, You can see that my menu preference is not set to easy go, but it does not honor it. No matter how I say it, it always read K5 operation menu. Always. So I have no way. The only way I can do is that. I can only remove the original one and make it to easy go. That's the only thing I can do. Because no matter how I how I set the environment variable, it always will be K5. Okay. So that's the screenshot. Okay, another question is that we have a KD profile. The profile is some um, I, I can put uh, some uh, some setting some configuration in the profile. But 
before we read ETC can be for RC. But then in K1 16 W4 what should I use? I have no documents. Nobody told tell me that what file should I use. I use KD4 RC no use. KD RC no use. Then I try to find the source. Then I try to find the source. The source tell me you should use KD5 RC. But no document says that. Nothing in the wiki, okay? No document says that. <coughs> there is no KD5. Hmm? There is no KD5, so that's about Yeah, that makes sense. So I do that, but again, no use. No use. Because I, I put the following content, it works in ESCO 12, in Prisma 5, this purpose pass. But when I use it, and even I create an ED, ETC KD5 RC, it's still no use. Still no use. So everything I did in ESCO 12, it, it won't work in, in Prisma 5. So that, 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 that is uh, uh, another problem. Searching around is gone. <laughs> okay. In, in ESCO 12, uh, we, we can say that you can use traditional desktop, desktop activity, and you have a quotation menu. And also, you can switch to search and launch. It's suitable for the touch screen. You can use that at all. And then spread the, 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 the category. And I also I remember. I also found some bugs in the social launch and I report, report back and they, had, they, they fixed the bug. I remember that. But in, in Prisma 5 it's gone. Okay. Then the most important problem is this. In K1 to 16, in K1 to 16, uh, 4, it has only one layer of projects. The layer of objects is here. That is now the current the current file content is is changed by me. But I would like to say before I can use zero zero and the one zero or two zero three zero so that it can be overwritten. But in this version in Prisma file, I cannot do that. I need to dirty head again. Right? Because I, they just call for this file name. They just call for this, call for this file and call for contents layout.js. Then I cannot directly override it. If I my package I directly override or direct change the file content, it violates the Debian package RC. <laughs> yeah, but at that time I really I I asked, uh, I did as in the KD developer list or even on IRC channel, but I couldn't get the answer for, for this. So that, that's the problem I made because when I try to customize this or this, uh, in this version I, I need to fall back to the DHEC because of the, the, the. Actually, what makes me confused most is. Uh, Actually, uh, for this, for, for example, this SPG many graphics, it works in Prisma 4. I just set up the environment, the variable environment in the X session start before the KD load, and it works. But in Prisma 5, then another developer last week, last week, really last week, after, after I made this slides, last week another developer told me another way. He said it may be that this variable, environment variable does not pass to Prisma shell. So he tried he tried that for me. He tried quit application Prisma shell and then with this environment, right? And then record the Prisma shell again. And then his menu, hey it works. It works. But my question is that, yes, it works. But 
First, I have no, I didn't find any documents saying that. The second is, either this works, quite my own way didn't work. Uh, to me, I say my own way, just put it in the accession D before the KP starts issue. Just follow the, the environment variable. Uh, I, I think it should go this way. I think it should go this way. Even I didn't pass it to the person I'm sure it should in inherit or the red follow the, the what I said in, in the environment variable at that time. But it didn't. And the, the, this developer tried this to me uh, last week. That's the first time I got an answer for the, for, for the problem of I tried to customize Prisma 5. The first time I got an answer for that. Yeah. But I think uh, there are still many other problems. But anyway, our next version, our next version, now it's equal 13, our next version. I would like to use Kevin Neon. Yeah, it's really beautiful. I fell in love with that. Really, I, in my virtual machine, I have, I, I used to, I used to try, try that. Okay, okay. Yeah, that will be so. I, I, I would like to use Kevin Neon. But currently, Kevin Neon still has the problem I said. Still have. Especially in the layout of JS. I have no way but to directly change the content. Okay, I see it needs to be resolved or I have no way to make the correct data package. Yeah, okay, so uh, especially uh, tomorrow I will have both talk to you about uh, I, I see a great chance to promote KD in Taiwan, especially with Taiwan's government. I see a great chance, but before that we need to prepare well, we need to have a total solution for that, and I hope at that time I can customize Kadenian correctly. Okay, that's it. So the good news is a lot of those problems left solutions. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, the good news is a lot of those problems left solutions, and they are generally better than the plasma four months. So I think you should come to the plasma board tomorrow. Mm, so yeah, yeah before you go, okay. and we will just fix all of your problems. Uh, what we do at Blue Systems is we have a distribution called Netra, which is a customized Neon, and we do exactly all the same stuff you do. We have a custom menu and all of the stuff. Mm -hmm. If you want to look into it tonight, Google for look and feel package. So one thing that's new in Plasma 5 is we have a system called look and feel packages, and what the look and feel package can supply is a custom layout JS file, initialization scripts for every plasmoid, mm -hmm. custom QML stuff like your own lock screen theme and all of this stuff. You can put all of this stuff into a look and feel package, which is actually just a folder that you make yeah, in yeah. the right place. And um, look and feel packages in, can inherit from the default, so you can just override what you need. So you can place your own layout there. You can even you can add an initialization script for, for example, the input method now widget to configure it the way you need to. And even if the user then removes it and adds it back, it will get initialized in your script and stuff like that. So it's actually it's much better than Plasma 4. It's just moved to a different place. And the problem is obviously that our documentation sucks and you can't find it. But um, so I would say we walk through your problems, and while we do that, we take notes and then we write docs based on that. So the next person doesn't have the same problem. Okay, I I, I know the look and feel package, so but I haven't started that yet. So I will try. Um, okay, please. Hello. Um, so we in Unix have the same problem. Do you know what DPKV word? DPKG what? Divert? Divert, yeah, it's a tool where you can uh, divert files from one package that you replace, kind of replace them. So that's one mechanism we, uh, we did, and um, XTG did not everything for us, so we didn't uh, use it. But that's definitely one problem we're having at all, uh, uh, too. So 
but our problem extends over a little feel like pretty, pretty we need more green and sterilization, but it's this yeah, kind of well, the same stuff. But um, because uh, we, have, we usually we will customize the current current <laughs> ISO. That means a release, a bottle release neon. So it's not uh, generated before the yeah. so usually I, we would quite quite I need to install this page and sorry. It would be the same. So yeah, 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 yeah. So, so yeah, I, I think so I think the, the, the paste name problem is still we still need to solve. Yeah, several solutions that could yes. be yeah. So Yeah, so I really found out in the last slide um, your environment variables that aren't getting to Plasma Shell. And that's the main problem, I think. And that's probably an SEDM change. And when you fix that, we'll start using your, your XCG data that you set. And when you do that, then everything will start working again. So the root cause of probably our accession script isn't being loaded as we want it to be loaded. Because we should follow the XCG data there and then that fixes everything. SCDMs should pass through the, the environment layer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, any questions? No. Let's ask more questions to all of us to run more. So, if, if, if you are interested in about the what I my, my idea about the KD put more KD, I have a board tomorrow afternoon after. After the introduction to the legal office, okay, so we can discuss there. And uh, also, I, I know that tomorrow there are a whole day press month, both, right? Yeah, we can uh, make it a different time that we really Yeah, uh, maybe I will go and uh, try to talk, talk with you about this. Too. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, any other problem? Any other questions? Yeah? No, it's just. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, thank you.